Hey YouTube, this is uh, King Cobra Jeff Fest with another video. Um, <laughs> um, I got the apartment cleaned up a lot. I got the floor vacuumed, and as you can see, futon vacuumed off, the floor picked up, all the trash and all that. Got all the trash taken out to the bed. I have a bed now. <laughs> it's not covered in shit, you know, not covered in stuff, I should say. Um, uh, I got the um, I got the kitchen left and the bathroom area and all that, but look at that. Table's all cleared off except for the apple and the chessboard. But um, yeah, the apartment's looking really good and um, whatnot. So yeah. Well, anyway, um, I got the kitchen. I got to do the dishes. Got the countertop wiped off. The stove wiped off. Got to bleach and mop the um, kitchen floor. Before that, I want to go in there to my bathroom area. I want to get that cleaned up, all dirty clothes off the floor in the hamper. Um, get the bathroom cleaned up, which won't take long because everything as dirty as the toilet and the sink. And after I get that, the kitchen's going to be the very last thing I do. And then the apartment will be decent, so righteous. Um, and that's what I did all day. I cleaned. <laughs> and um, it's 3.07, so I got me a dollar and change so I can go to the bus and take the bus to work. But I figured I'd stop and make this video before I hop in the shower and head down to the bus, bus stop. Um, so before I, and then when I get home from work, I'm going to uh, get to the bathroom area and all that cleaned up and then I'll have to the kitchen so and the kitchen's last because it's going to be a bitch to clean there's a lot of dirty dishes that haven't been cleaned in god knows how long and um yeah the counters are messy and all that so it's just you know I'm, I got tired of living in the filth dude so I, I cleaned my fucking house up dude um now the situation with Chris um here's what happened my dad came over to collect my, the paste that he hadn't collected so we can mail them off. Because apparently it's for my SOSI, which I don't have anymore. But what's, but they required me to have a copy of my paste up anyway, so, and all that stuff, so. I'm off it at the moment because I make too much money at Wendy's to have SOSI, but, um. Well, anyway, he's, he's clicked my paste up, right? He asked for my keyboard. He's like, is it working? I'm like, no. And he goes, let's take a look at it. Okay. He walked into the apartment and literally was beyond pissed. He's like, Josh, how can you live like this, man? This is ridiculous. And I agreed with him. And I'd say about 95% of the mess was Chris's, not mine. Um, and when I first saw the apartment, the only problem I had with messes, as far as mess goes, was um, dirty dishes. Other than that, everything was fine. And then Chris moved in and... Yeah. So my dad goes, you know what, Josh, kick Chris out now. And I told him what happened, and I said, well, Chris needs, just needs two more weeks of bullshit. I'm like, yeah, I know it's bullshit. And he goes, no. He had a whole month. What the fuck was he doing, huh? I'm like, pretty much nothing. He's always exactly. So um, whenever Chris decides to quit partying or whatever he's doing and come to the apartment, I have to talk with him about some stuff. Mainly, um, him being moved out a little earlier than originally planned. Which I shouldn't have even given him this month, this extra two weeks, for him to, um, even be in my apartment, to be honest with you. I should have just kicked him out then and there. But I try to be a good friend and be understandable, understanding and patient, and, yeah. Well, anyway, my dad pulls in the keyboard. I'm like, look, it doesn't play, see? And I had GarageBand opened up already. And my dad's just chewing my ass about keeping the apartment clean and all that. And that's pissing me off because I realized how stupid I was being and all that. So I was pissed. He left the door. He left the door, front door and all that. I'm like, fuck, I have a keyboard on my laptop. I don't like that. It didn't break it, of course, but I played a note. I'm like, what the? 
So I'm like, mm -hmm. good. So I start playing the keyboard. I'm like, oh my god, we got it to work. Fucking sweet. <laughs> I then unplugged it so I could clean, and I thought, well, maybe, maybe, just maybe, I can get it to work again. Sure enough, I figured it out. So, yeah. But, um, yeah. Yeah, I got my keyboard working, so, um, work on a song, Garage Band. But I want to exit out of that and just go to new, um, I want to show you how it works. Some keyboards. Okay. Now the quarter and a half for plus trade in my computer. All you gotta do then, put that cigarette in the ashtray for a second, is um, grab my keyboard <sighs> and um, plug it in. which gives it power. I then wait until it says input select ready or something like that. My uh, sixth cigarette <laughs> today. Oh, these are harsh little fuckers, <laughs> but they're good. They get me by best I can, you know. But yeah, the apartment I got vacuumed up like I said. The vacuum was one of my parents' vacuums they gave it to me because they got a new one, and they used that to vacuum the floor. And they put the this, this powder on the floor in their house to make it smell good. So the vacuum had that, and and it basically it makes it made the carpet smell nice. So. And I had the window open for a couple hours to let air out in here, so, yeah. Okay. Now I just gotta wait for it to input. There it goes. Alright. Number of MIDI inputs has changed. Now one input is available. Okay. Now. Now my keyboard works. And um, so I'm like, I don't work on the song right now. I'm working. I just got to a point where I could stop and, but uh. Trying to figure out now is how much you lower it so it's a full, a full thing you know, of keys, not just. I just figured it out. 
little bit of random keyboard playing, nothing, you know, special, but, yeah. <laughs> um, so now for my keyboard to work, I have to have GarageBand open and a piano of some sort selected. That's not what I know so far. So at least now I can play my piano on GarageBand if I want, so. Yeah. Well, anyway, I'm going to finish my cigarette. You're going to just um, relax. See, I'm in my shorts, so. I don't need to, like, freak the fuck out or anything. <laughs> My dad's like, no, you, you told Chris you had he had a month to get out, and he's giving yes for two more weeks. Yeah, yes for two weeks. Well then, no, he's out, he's gone. I'm like, yeah, I agree. In fact, he brings him a bottle of Jaeger. I don't know where the fuck he gets it. He's like, don't drink this. I'm like, why not? And he goes. Let's my buy into a party in case there is one. I'm like, oh, so you get booze, but you don't know where the fuck I got, he got it from. That somehow it's just buy into a game to a party. Hmm. Well, so I would drink something right now, but I have to go to work, and I don't want to go to work alcohol in my system. So yeah, I tell you what, if Chris's job were party planning, by God, he'd be a millionaire because he seems to care more about partying than, than jobs. At least that's what my impression is. Um, granted, I don't know what he does during the day other than sleep and play Xbox, but to be honest with you, I'm done. Okay, I'm done with this bullshit, dude. For real. I'm just, I'm done. So, yep. Oh, yeah, the apartment's at least cleaned up somewhat, so. I left the kitchen and the uh, bathroom area, like I said, so, yeah. And I got my keyboard working. Chris is all like, yeah, you can get this, this, and this, and this cord for this, and this to work. I'm like, heh, 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 heh. Yeah, no, you don't. You need garage man and your Mac. That's all you need. <laughs> uh, for the Mac to be plugged in <laughs> to the wall. Well, tonight I'm working a, um, another great trip at Wendy's, and then when I get off work, I get off work, so, yep. But, uh, I'm gonna finish this cigarette, I'm gonna take a shower, I haven't showered yet today, because I pretty much got up and cleaned, <laughs> so, yep, the apartment looks good, and it's not as messy, hell, I even back into the fucking futon, dude. That shit had cigarette butts and crumbs in it from all hell back, dude, I'm like, no, fuck this, dude, I'm like, I'm like this, so. But, uh, yeah. If Chris does come home when I'm at work, he's kind of going to rise back up to work to Wendy's and go, Hey, man, I'm going to be cute you in the apartment. I'm like, um, don't you have a party to go to? He goes, yeah, I do. So they go to the party, you know. When you have the party, you can come see me when I get out of work. So, yeah. And when he gets home, I'm going to be straight up. Well, I say when he gets to the apartment, my apartment, I should be like, I'm going to be like, you know what, he's straight up. I can't do this anymore, dude. There was rotting bananas on the floor. That's fucking disgusting, dude. I picked that shit up, dude. I fucking bagged him the floor, man. It looked nice. So, it's at least, um, all that. It looks a thousand times better anyway. So, if you've seen one before I cleaned up the apartment, which I'm pretty sure you have, all of it, you know the holy shit, dude. So, yeah. But, um, yep, got the apartment cleaned up, looking good, and that's about it, that's all I have to say, you know, I'm not going to sit here and repeat myself, uh, but, uh, 
And if this is another place to stay, I'm always going to keep all the stuff, but it's not my problem, is it? Now, I could be a friend, and I could be like, no, Chris, leave your stuff here. Once you get your own place, you can come and get it. Get out, take it to his brother's house. But, um, yeah. Considering his brother lives with their grandfather, and I don't think he would be able to stay the night to play Xbox. It's not a little, I don't know a little story behind it, but. Uh, but yeah, it's high time when Chris moved out. And, uh. For a couple of weeks. Yeah, you know, it was Christmas. I didn't want to be a dick and be like, "Hey, man, you know, stay in your van, whatever, you know." But no, I'm like, dude, I'll be a good friend. I'll stay here for a couple of weeks till I get this background and things, till I get the job and all that. But nope, I tried, you know, and it didn't uh, work out so well. Well, I had some moments where it worked out pretty good, but then, you know, Chris is out partying all the fucking time. You know, what if what if his job calls and says he has to he has to start tomorrow? He's not going to work. Hung over with weed in the system, still it's not very responsible, you know. Chris says, "Well, I'm never getting hung over because I, I can drink a lot of bullshit, dude." The reason Chris can drink so much is because he's fat, okay. And he's like, "Even when I was skinny, I could still drink a lot." Dude. Whatever, dude, okay. But um, yeah, probably looks good. It's a lot better. So, yep. Chris has like Chris has like one outfit to his name, maybe two or three. But um Bert and I is wearing some of my clothes because, you know, he doesn't have any money. Again, I'm being a, a good friend here trying to help him out, but I can only help him so far. If he's not willing to help himself then I'm not gonna be responsible for that. I'm, I'm not Chris, I'm not responsible for Chris, you know what I'm saying, so yeah. And as soon as I see him, dude, on, as soon as he gets in the apartment, I'm going to have a serious talk with him, and, yeah. I wish I could take care of him, you know? I wish I could be, but I can't. I can't afford to. And the circumstances, the circumstances, I can't, you know? It's gone on long enough. I'm done. You know, and I told him last month we had the end of the month, and then you gotta move out. He's like, okay, whatever. You know, I understand. It's cool. You know, I explained to him. I said, like, Chris, I can't afford to take care of the both of us here. You know what I'm saying? He's like, okay, I'll do your job. I understand. It's cool. You know, here we are. The next month, and it's the same stupid bullshit. So, yeah, I'm done. I can't deal with this shit right now. I shouldn't have to, you know, I'm his fucking dad, for God's sake, you know? It's ridiculous. But, um, I've got a bunch of dishes I gotta do and clean. I gotta mop the kitchen floor. Uh, just to get some bleach and, um, put it in the sink. Clog this, put the drain in the sink. And that way I can, you know, once I get all the sink cleaned out and all that, and all the dishes done. Then I'll get all the take everything off the counters, wipe them all down. After that, I clean the stove, and then after that, you know, I gotta bleach the floors and get that mopped up and all that, but you know, even if I get the dishes done at least, you know, I'm gonna have to do it all, all in one fucking day. I can get it done in like three days, you know, don't rush it that way. I'm gonna tire it out and all that, but, uh, yep. Yeah. At least now I can function in my apartment uh, outside the kitchen, so if I get the kitchen in functioning order and then go to the area over there, get all that picked up and cleaned, and this my apartment will be livable and it won't be like cluttered mess everywhere and all that, so yeah. Well, I'm gonna hit the shower and I'll get ready for work, so. Till then, this is a. Uh, 
King Cobra Jet Fest in the video. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see you guys later.